What is going on, guys? So you can tell from the way I'm talking now that I have a new microphone. I don't know if it's much going to be much different, but there shouldn't be any popping sounds. The popping sounds are very annoying, and um, it was a lot of effort to edit them all out. So uh, should be good now. I'm kind of just watching the audio thingy right here. Uh, basically, whenever I talked with the other mic, every once in a while, you see how I'm kind of talking right now, and it's kind of staying around here. Every once in a while, it would just zoom up here, and that was a pop. So I could tell it was popping now. Um, I thought it might have been... Camtasia possibly, but it was definitely my microphone because I've been talking to people on Skype recently and it pops in Skype as well. So you got a new microphone. Uh, it's not amazing quality or anything, but without the popping sound should be fine. I, I've heard it. I, I heard a little bit of it. It's, it's decent. It's, you know, it's whatever. It's pretty generic. Um, so from the title, you can tell that there is a new client. We fixed the client problems. Uh, one of the reasons why the server died, along with a lot of other reasons, was the fact that most people couldn't even connect if they wanted to. Um, some people got their, their antivirus was triggered by a certain file, um, so we figured out what the problem was with that, and that's fixed now. There, obviously, there wasn't a virus or anything like that, but it was triggering people's antiviruses, and some people can't, um, they just, like, they, they, they don't have the ability to download it. <laughs> and then um, another problem was the cache not downloading correctly. It would give you this white screen, it would say something like, error connecting to server, try again. Or um, it'll say like close all your tabs and stuff like that. That should be fixed now. I've tested it a fair bit and it's working for me. Um, so hopefully it'll work for you. Um, so how you download the client, you just go to the forms, uh, click play now. Or I'll actually have the link in the description so you don't have to go through that effort. But uh, click link in the description, download it. You're going to get a, uh, let me go to my downloads, show you what I've been downloading. Anything fun? Just a bunch of songs and other random crap. Uh, so you'll get this, click it. The first time it will run, uh, it will um, download the cache, but for me it won't do that. Um, so then if you get, uh, let me see if I can't find a, sh a picture of what that message looks like. I can't find it, but uh, if you get something that says something like close all your tabs and try again, um, it's a cache problem. So I'm going to have an email in the description below. You can try emailing that. That's going to be quicker than if you go on the forums and ask for help because I don't always check these forums. The forums aren't very good, and with the, the lower player count, there isn't a whole lot of you know refreshing this constantly. So I'll give you something to uh, contact me a little quicker. Uh, people are wondering what's going on. What's the plan? There is a plan. I've... I formulated a plan finally, and I'm going to talk about that in another video soon. That's not really what this video is about, so uh, just have faith. That's all I can say. If the client works for you and everybody can play now, that'll be cool. That'll help a little bit. I'm sure a couple people who wanted to check out the server will come on and check it out, and um, I, I, you know, I don't know if they'll stay or not, but... You know, the fact that, that that is hopefully fixed should help in the long run. But uh, there is a plan. The server uh, is, you know, uh, people who log in every once in a while know that there's only like three or four people playing nowadays. Um, we've got a plan, and um, I'm not giving up. I know that I have that reputation for giving up on servers. And to sort of prove that I wasn't going to give up, um, I used a lot of our donation money to prepay for the VPS and our website. So... Um, granted, this website <laughs> is not very good. I'm talking about the other one, but, um, so we are prepaid for three months in advance right now, um, and I'm, I'm going to keep topping up months just, uh, that way to sort of prove that, like, no matter what happens to the server, it's at least going to be up that long. I know that a few people were concerned with it, um, they said that there's not a whole lot of in-game content. That was one thing, um, from the poll results, uh, the survey results. And uh, some people said they were too concerned to even try to train because they figured the server would be down. So um, I figured I would go ahead and do that to sort of prove that, you know, it's going to be up. Now, sure, that doesn't guarantee I would stay motivated or updates would happen consistently. But, you know, I think the fact that I'm still trying even after we've hit the lower player count proves that, uh, you know, I'm committed to it and I'm working on it. Um, there was a lot of people who talked about how there was a, 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 a good week or so where there wasn't any staff online. Originally, I didn't want any staff. I didn't want a single staff. John and I, we discussed it because John was originally the owner of the server. Um, and we discussed it and we both agreed that we wouldn't have any staff at all. We were going to have no staff and just like let things, you know, whatever happens, whatever happens, just kind of grow up. You know, someone calls you a turd face, you just kind of grow up and be the bigger man and ignore them. You know, you didn't have to, shouldn't have to ban anybody for something like that. But I think it worked out fine. I don't think I banned a single person the entire server was up. I did ban one person later on after the server kind of died, but while we were at our highs of like 20 to 30 players, I didn't ban a single person. But... <coughs> uh, excuse me. But I kind of... Um, 
kind of neglected to think about, you know, what staff does other than just punishing people. And um, some people just, you know, it, it, it really kind of is like a placebo effect. If you log in and you see staff, you kind of have this feeling of, oh, okay, people care about the server. And without any staff at all, people just kind of assumed that the server was dead or, or we weren't caring about it or anything like that. And it wasn't the case at all. People, you know, there was a plan to not have staff, but it just didn't work out at all. So I've since hired Matt as a moderator. Matt's a moderator now, and I have two people in mind for... Um, I don't really like promoting people to helper because I think helper is stupid, but I don't want to give them mod yet until I know that they can handle it. So uh, I've got two helpers in mind and looking into adding other people on the higher end of things like an admin, someone who can sort of, I, I really need someone who can sort of take over the community. That was kind of what John was going to, to do. He was going to handle the community and everything like that. And I was just going to code, um, but that unfortunately didn't happen. Um, and if you're wondering, John is out of the server. He's no longer the owner. I'm taking over ownership. He just doesn't have the time. I haven't talked to him. I think the last Skype message I have from him is on the 23rd of June, and it's the 12th of July now. We, we just haven't had any chances to talk. Um, so I, I take it he's still really, really busy. But, you know, I've, we've learned from that. We're, we're moving forward. And uh, with that week that I wasn't online, it was kind of just bad timing. Um, I had a, my... Um, I, I call him my godson, but, you know, my godson's uh, birthday party, my grandparents were in town for my sister's graduation, and I got sick all in the matter of, like, a week or so, and uh, I wasn't online a lot there, there was a gap in updates, and I think that that was, um, you know, very crucial. I think if we had staff, like, moderators and stuff that could have, like, explained situations better, and if there was more communication on my end, that would probably would have helped, but... Um, people kind of assumed that the server was going to just go down the similar path as it has my other servers, uh, or that I'd lost motivation, and it's just not true. I'm very interested in the server. I have a lot of hefty goals. There's a lot of things that I really want to accomplish. Um, if you've played the server the last couple of days or so, and I know that's kind of tough because a lot of new people couldn't play the server, the client wouldn't download. I, um... You know, I'd been on it like at least like six hours each day, and I think I get on like Matt and Matt, Napalm, uh, Grinch, Natsu, Jervik, or whatever his name is, Mather. Those people can kind of, you know, can kind of sort of back me up in the, in the fact that I have been on the server a lot. Uh, in terms of updates, I'm sort of uh, uh, waiting before. I do a ton of them, but since I was playing the server, I kind of wanted some of these things. So selfishly, I did do all these updates. Um, so there's some good ones in here. I'll sort of uh, summarize them up. Uh, the Phoenix pet from Fire Making was added. The Dark Claw and the Scatizzo pet were added. The, the Dark Claw makes the Purple Slayer home. Uh, Mystery Boxes got an update, and I'll spawn some of those in a sec. I put that in the title of the video. You know, I should have been opening those this entire time, just so you'd have something more interesting to look at. Um... Uh, I think that's the password. Um, the Thieving Paradise received a little update, mostly on the loots. Barrows is now very good, so for some people who like Barrows, it's very good. And then Fight Caves are now timed, which I think is really cool. It looks really nice. In fact, I should try to go peering the Fight Caves just to show you how that works. Um, the Mystery Boxes weren't updated that much, but I figure I'll open some. Uh, Barrows items were removed. Oh, wow, well, we got a rare item right there. I'll probably release a list of all of the rates and everything on the forums after this video, so you can go check that out. Um, Void is now in it, so that's cool if you didn't want to do pest control, i.e. me. I don't want to do pest control. There's more skill, There's more skilling items. I think I might remove these tomes. Let me know how you feel about that. I did remove some of the potions, um, but I kept I kept uh, some some of the gooder, the, the gooder ones. Nice, nice. Some of the better ones, but... I added a couple more cosmetic items. Uh, Infinity is in here now. Uh, so I'll sort of, I'll include, I don't really want to open up a ton of these, but I'll include a list on the uh, forums. Um, and there's going to be um, some more updates. I don't know if I'm able to get it out today because I want to, like, you know, obviously I don't want to rush updates, but uh, soon. Um, I'll just give you a little uh, sneak peek in what they are. Still in the process of writing it, but uh, yeah, melee accuracy and base defense. I'm working on those. Uh, if you play the server, you know that range is kind of overpowered. It's the preferred. It's not overpowered. It's just very, very good compared to melee and magic. And uh, I want to work on balancing the three of them out. So you actually do see people want to mage more and want to melee more. Um, and melee accuracy is it's not bad. It's just um, it's not good compared to range. And your base defense is also kind of low. A lot of monsters hit very hard on you. Like if you're a level three and you go to Kong Kong Train, you kill your Rock Crabs, you'll probably die. I mean, I could just show you that. Like a brand new account going to Rock Crabs. 
Like, because most people when they play the game, that's probably the first thing they're gonna do. They're not gonna even look at the. Uh, they're not gonna unnote the sharks. I know when I play servers, it's kind of something that I always do. You know, you just got your starter right here, so, and you're gonna just go to train or some other training teleport. I always like to slay first, but you know, I think most people do this. You put your little gear on, and uh, it's funny because now they're actually hitting zeros. But normally they will destroy you, and um, you'll die. Suppose this was a bad example because now I'm I'm not <laughs> I'm not dying. But uh, yeah, the base defense is being increased, so monsters won't combo the hell out of you. Uh, and I'm working on rebalancing a lot of monsters. I actually have Matt right now going through every single monster, um, spending a couple hours on them, and, and giving me like a, you know, extensive report on which ones um, need change. Because there was a lot of, uh, on the survey, there was a lot of uh, the response I got was that some monsters are good, some monsters are bad. Um, but I didn't really get enough, people didn't specifically say which monsters were good and which monsters are bad. So I figured, well, finally, we're just going to put in the effort and we will... Um, We'll test every monster and we'll balance them all out. And um, <clears throat> a lot of people suggested you uh, you know don't work, don't add new content when the current content is broken. And um, I, I I mean in theory that's a that's a nice idea, but that's you know that just doesn't always work. Um, in terms of the uh, survey, I guess I'll tell you who won that. Smelly won won the um, the ring, the luck of the pugs. But there were two other responses that I really liked. And those people will win a Ring of Fortune, which a Ring of Fortune is less than the uh, Luck of the Pugs, but better than Ring of Wealth I. So it's the next one up. Uh, Zebrock won one of them. And then the next person that won one actually didn't leave his name. So I'm going to give you a little bit of what they said. And if it was you, um, log in the game and let me know. Don't bother lying because this uh, survey tracker keeps track of your IP. So I'll easily be able to find out who it is. So uh, if you look at this bottom part right here, if this looks like this was your answer, well, let me know. You have to log in to win these prizes. I'm not going to come to you. you got to come to me. Um, so if that looks like you, and then obviously I can check IPs as well, so please don't bother wasting my time by lying. So congrats to those winners. Again, if you want to claim your prize, come to me. But uh, that's going to do it for the video. The video is really just to tell you about the client being fixed. I think I just leaked my IP, so I'll probably have to edit that out, but... Yeah, come check out the server, and hopefully the mic is good.